She would love to take your song suggestions if you have any. We'll be getting started in about five-ish minutes, so get get yourselves in and take your time. But we'll be we'll be getting rolling in a little bit. But you're welcome to start song suggestions now if you'd like. Any any topic it could be anything within reason. Got a bird and a flower Give us grace. So much fun about me. So I bequeath it to you. You've got to protect your teeth. You've got to protect your teeth. Maybe brush, maybe floss, maybe mouthwash. Whatever you do, this song I now bequeath to you. Yeah, I don't feel like it's the same. Hey, 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 how's everybody doing tonight? Oh, I know you could do better than that. How are you doing tonight? Awesome. I know many of you who have been Jam fans in the past have known that normally Sam and I are pretty late, but I am actually on time tonight. I'm very excited about that. But, um, but I haven't seen Sam. Have you guys seen Sam? Yeah, you have seen him? Where is he? Is he? Normally he's back there. Is he back there? He's, he's where? He's what? I don't see him. No, I just looked back there. He wasn't there. What? Oh, Sam! <laughs> you trying to scare me? Season of scaring. How many of you guys have been scared I tried my sometime best. through the month of October? Have you been scared? I got scared a lot. I get scared very easily. What's something that scares you guys? Yes. Spiders? Ooh, Girl. Yes. yes. Spiders. Sam and I were going to do a scaring competition, and it didn't really work out because neither of us were really good at scaring yeah. the other person. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of ideas, plus we had to do a lot of work. But we had one rule. <laughs> it was no spiders. No spiders. We weren't going to well, do spiders. Yeah. Right. And yeah, so that was, that was our yeah. main that rule. That was the main rule. Yes. Right? Yeah. Scary that, that scares yeah. me too. That's crazy. That's, we, why would we want to watch something that's going to make us even more scared, right? Mm -hmm. Silly. What else? What else is something that scares you? Yeah. Snakes. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. What scares you? Scary masks. Yeah, absolutely. There's lots of things that scare us, right? Mm -hmm. You know something that's really cool? Something that we like to say a lot in our household is that we have a God who is perfect love. And perfect love casts out fear. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that? That's awesome. He is an awesome God. And, and the Bible actually says that perfect love casts out fear. It gets rid of it. It says, fear, get out of here. And it goes away, which is super awesome. We're going to talk more about this awesome God a little bit later, but we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. This is Jam, and basically Jam is just a night of having fun together, and I'm Jonathan. And I'm Sam. And together we are... 
jam. jam. And so one of the things that we love to do is improv songs. Yep. It's basically a song that we make up on the spot that has something to do with anything that you all create. So if you're here in person, you can go see Miss Lauren at any time in the next probably 10 minutes, and you can give her a song suggestion, and then we will do our best to make up a song about it. If you're joining us virtually, you can put in a song suggestion on Facebook and comment in, and Miss Lauren is keeping an eye on that as well, and she's going to write them all down and get them ready for us. And so we're going to do that a little bit later, but... If you have any song suggestions, you want to go ahead and put them in now. Yep. So that way we have uh, that all ready for when that time comes. All right. But first thing that we're going to do is we are going to play a game. game. All right. This game is for everybody in the room. So if you're here in the room, everybody go ahead and stand up. Everybody stand up. Parents included. Everybody stand up. Get a little bit of elbow room. Get a little bit of space. Get a little bit of, little bit of this, Ooh, a little bit of that. Nice. Move it around a little bit. Awesome. Very, very good. All right. I want to know how many of you know how to play a game called rock, paper, scissors. Okay. We have oh, a bunch of too. professionals in here. Mm -hmm. They all know how to play. This is so good. All right. One rule. This is how I play. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Mm -hmm. All right. I always go on shoot. Some people do rock, paper, scissors. Always wait. Let's all go on shoot. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is right now turn around and see if you can find a buddy or a, um, or a grown-up, someone around you, and you're just going to practice playing rock, paper, scissors, okay? What you do is if you have a rock, rock beats scissors, right? Uh, so uh, you would beat scissors. Yep. If you're scissors, you would beat paper, and if you're paper, you would beat rock, all right? So everybody always beats something else. If you tie, you play again, all right? So we're just going to – nobody's out. We're just going to play for to see – if we can get r familiar with the game again, okay. okay? So, everybody, you ready? We're going to do it together. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Ooh, we did we it. Tied. So we tied. If you, if you won, just keep an eye on who won, but we're going to do it again because we tied. Okay. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. Ah, uh, so I lost on that one. All right. Do you guys feel like you know how to play rock, paper, scissors? Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to do a... A, a, an epic round of rock, paper, scissors with everybody in the room. You're going to start with one partner. Does everybody have a person that they're playing rock, paper, scissors with? All right. If you lose this round, you're going to take a seat, and the winners are going to find each other, okay? Everybody's going to play, and we're going to see who can stay in the game. All right? So everybody plays together. Here we go. Kay. Sam and I are going to play, too, because we want to win. All right? So here we go. One we're going to do it all to together. Ready? Go. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Oh, we're going to do it again because we tied. If you lost, take a seat. If you tie, play again. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Oh, <sighs> I lost. All right. Sam is beating me crazy. All right. If you won, raise your hand. If you won, raise your hand. All right. Winners, find each other. Somebody else raising their hand. Anybody else raising their hand? You might have to move a little bit from your seat, and that's okay. If you find someone around you. Oh, there's one up here. There's one up here. Do you, oh. Josie K, did you, did, you, did you win? You don't have to. That's fine. All right. Does everyone, everyone who won, Sam also, if you didn't find one, Sam also won. So he'd I be won. happy to play if somebody didn't find a partner. So Daniel, you come on up, bud. <laughs> Unless you guys are playing together, Mr. Daniel and Mr. Nash. All right. Everybody has a partner that they're playing against. We're all going to try it again. You ready? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Do we have any ties? Do, the, do it again. Ready? <laughs> Rock, Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. See if the winner, the winner will stay. The one who didn't win is going to take a seat. All right? Now, if you've won, go ahead and come on up to the front on the carpet. If you've won, go ahead and come on up to the front of the carpet. All right, we're going to do, oh, we have four? Oh, maybe, oh, Miss Christy. Oh, we have a grown-up still in the game. Give it up for Miss Christy. Yes. All right. Oh, and Miss Lauren. We're going to see. We're going to see what happens here. All right, Miss Lauren, you're in it too? Awesome. Guys, we've got, all right, everyone find, everyone find a rock, paper, scissors partner. All right, so Harper, you're going to play, you're going to play right here, okay? All right, you guys have it? You too. You got it. You've got it? All right. And you then... good? All right. All right. Oh, here, we can do, does everyone have one? We could do a, we could do a, a three-way. Is that possible? Yeah. We'll see what happens. All right, here, you, why don't you play with, uh, with Lana, all right? You want to play with Lana right here? You go ahead and play. Everyone has a partner? All right, ready? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. All right, who's the winner? 
Winners stay. Losers will take a seat. If you tied, you're going to do it again. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, awesome. All right, so we have our four. Awesome. Give it up for Lana. She, she didn't win this time, but we have, we have four left. So you're still in with Christy. All right, here we go. These two right here. Y'all ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, nice. And a tie, which means we repeat. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Another tie. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Oh, okay. Here we go. We're getting down to it. All right. Now let me just see if it's Finley and Isabella, right? It's Isabella, right? Oh, they're just going for it. Double. What's a tie? Let's do it again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Another tie. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, Isabella. Awesome. It, your name is Isabella. Is that right? Okay, awesome. I was worried that maybe I got it wrong. All right. Hey, everyone, give it up for Isabella. Hey, come here. Nice job. Chick-fil-A, right? Hey, you guys didn't know there was prizes. We are going to do a trick shot later and see if that somebody else can win a Chick-fil-A gift card. You're welcome. Hey, give it up one more time for Isabella, our rock, paper, scissors champion. Super awesome. So good. I got out round one. Yeah. Both times, practice and for real. <laughs> I was not destined to win rock, paper, scissors. It wasn't for me. <laughs> well, after the first time, I kind of knew what you were going to do. <laughs> you, oh, did I do the same thing? You, you did. Oh, I, I didn't even know. All right. All right, good deal. All right, so rock, paper, scissors. We have our champion. You guys did an awesome job. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to go into a time of improv, improv songs. All right. Some of you may have made suggestions. Some of you might be doing that right now. Um, Sam and I like to try and make up songs on the spot based on what you've suggested. We have not seen or heard any of these because Miss Lauren has been keeping track of them all. We give a lot of trust to Miss Lauren to choose topics that are doable for us. Um, yeah. There's part of me that regrets it every time we do it. Uh, we <laughs> cannot guarantee that it will be good, but we can guarantee it will likely be very silly. silly. Yeah. <laughs> so we will do our best. Oh, and now they're even rolling in more. People have some ideas yeah. of some different improv songs. How many of you guys have ever made up songs on the spot? Like, does anyone ever just go around the house and they're like, I'm walking down the stairs my and I'm opening <laughs> the fridge? Does anyone do stuff like that? Yes, my dad does. He won't raise his hand. Wait, whoa, whoa. Does. Donnie Taylor does this? <laughs> Don't you think maybe like next jam night we need to have Donnie Taylor be like a guest at he the just jam? Like, he so just good. like sings all throughout the house. And my good. mom will be like, why are you singing? What is there to sing about? Everything. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. I'm just singing. That's awesome. I want to hear a Donnie Taylor original. That's I want to hear Yeah, that. I'd like to. Oh, he has some. I, I can't wait. All right, so <laughs> we're going to turn things over to Miss Lauren. She's going to tell us some of the things that you've suggested, and we're going to do our best to come up with a silly song based on what we've got right here. All right? And then at the end, uh, because I didn't do it earlier, we'll all stand up, and we'll do a silly song together. All right? But um, I think she's getting her final one right here. Um, you guys have made a lot, of, uh, a lot of suggestions tonight, so I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> I'm really worried. <laughs> yeah, it could be about anything. And so, really, we have absolutely no idea what it is that we're about to hear. All right, Miss Lauren, do you have some suggestions for us? I, I have a lot tonight. I looked like you did. <laughs> what you got? All right, so there's, there's a lot that are themed around Halloween, appropriately. Okay, fair. Um, so how about... Scary costumes and and masks. And masks. Uh, yeah, and masks. Yeah. Masks. Yeah. Okay. So that was Aubrey and Nash in a in a mashup of scary outfits. Okay, names. an Aubrey Nash mash. Okay, awesome, awesome. Scary costumes and masks. Okay. Okay. All right, play something. I'm rusty. I haven't done this since like August. You know what's funny? I always put my mic on here, and then I always take it away. Like I almost said, <laughs> why are you putting it on there? It's a habit. OK, scary costumes and masks. It's Halloween, and I have a question to ask. Are you wearing a scary costume, something silly, or wearing a mask? I want to know if you're going trick-or-treating on the 31st. Are you going to knock on doors and try to get candy wearing something really nice? Or maybe it's the worst. I want to know 
what you're wearing for Halloween. And I want to know if you'll go trick or treating with me. What you're wearing when you go, is it scary, is it not? I don't know if a costume like that will make you so hot. Because when it's Halloween, it could be 30 degrees or 90, because that's what it's like in Virginia. <laughs> We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'm rusty. It's been a while. <laughs> All right. Scary costumes and masks. There it is. All right. What you got? All right. Another Halloween theme. Sam, this one's for you. Oh, I'm so glad you just said it right off the bat. That Sam improvs are my favorite. They're, they're pretty the good. They usually, they're like ballads most of the time. Yeah. That's because um, I usually play the piano because no one wants to hear me play the guitar. So. And, All right. and it, you can stretch out words and yeah. longer time to think. Right. All right. <laughs> Someone wants to play the guitar. <laughs> I, I can play in the key of G. That's all I get. <laughs> all right. Someone's fiance has requested a song about carving pumpkins. Perfect. That is a Sam song. A Sam song. <laughs> a Sam song. Perfect. Not an apple. All right. Nope. Not, not for this. All right. After this, they'll say Samsung, but not yet. That was a good joke. I liked it. <laughs> you couldn't laugh. I was in the, you're my audience. <laughs> you're trying to focus on playing G. Sorry. Wait. What was I supposed to be singing about? Carving pumpkins. <laughs> I think maybe one, maybe two more. All right. And then we'll, we'll, we'll do a song all together. All right. What you got, Miss Lauren? All right. So Emmett and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call Privilege here and, and, Ooh. and do this one. Uh -oh. Emmett wants a song about monster trucks, but I thought it should be about monster trucks. Oh, like it's monsters Halloween. trucks. Monster. Okay. Okay. Monster trucks. Okay. I feel like that's like a like a rock song. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Right, wouldn't you guys agree? It'd be like, monster truck, right? Let's go on a drive, trying to stay alive. Gonna drive around, going all over town. In my monster truck, gonna see what's up. We're gonna go in a really scary car. A monster truck, yeah, a monster truck. We're gonna drive all around and see what we can see. A monster truck, yeah, a monster truck, yeah. And I can't wait to scare people. 
on with monsters in my truck my monster truck it's really big really scary probably a little hairy <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, one more, and then we'll be good. Maybe something not so Halloween. I feel like we should I, divert. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, actually, good. Okay. Uh, on the note of hair, uh, mm. Daniel requests a song about getting a haircut. Ooh, a haircut. Okay. A haircut. How many of you have? How many of you get haircuts from your mom or dad? Oh, uh, you don't really like it like that? How many of you go to a place to get your hair cut? How many of you do a little bit of both? Okay, good deal. Oh, okay. Haircuts. Last one, and then we'll do a song together, all right? And he has a mullet My friend, he's in the back Running sound with the team I have a friend, his name is Asher I don't know why he got it looking like that They say it's business in the front And a party in the back to get that haircut, Asher Garber. Why would you do that to your hair, Asher? Do you think it looks so cool? I don't think I'd want to see it anywhere. Come on, Asher's falling. to the barber and see if they'll finish cutting it for you, Asher Garber. <laughs> also, wow. I joke, I actually think Asher pulls off the mullet really well. Asher, will you just stand up for us real quick? Will you just show everyone? Turn around. Look at this. Look at this guy, right? If anyone could rock a mullet, I think it's Asher. <laughs> also, thank you for letting me pick on you. <laughs> awesome. All right, everyone in the room, go ahead and stand up. Everyone stand up. All right, we're going to do a song here together. It's one we've done on Wednesday nights before, and so all you got to do is um, you're going to follow along with me as we sing this song together. But I'm going to start off, and I'm going to say, Bananas of the World, and you're going to say, Unite, and you're going to put your hands up together like this. All right, so let's practice. Bananas of the World. Unite. Bananas of the World. Unite! Bananas of the world! Unite! And then all together, we're gonna go. You've got to form bananas. Form, form, sing it with me. Got to form bananas. Form, form, bananas. Got to peel, follow Sam. Bananas, peel, peel, bananas. Got to peel, bananas. Peel, peel, bananas. Got to eat, bananas. Eat, eat, bananas. Got to eat. Bananas. bananas. Then we're going to go bananas. You ready? Bananas. You've got to go bananas. Go, go bananas. Got to go bananas. Go, go bananas. Got to form the orange. Form, form the orange. Got to form the orange. Form, form the orange. Got to peel the orange. Peel, peel the orange. Got to peel the orange. Peel, peel the orange. You've got to squeeze the orange. Squeeze, squeeze the orange. Got to squeeze the orange. Squeeze, squeeze the orange. Orange got to form potatoes. Form, form potatoes. Got to form potatoes. Form, form potatoes. Got to peel potatoes. Peel, peel potatoes. Got to peel potatoes. Peel, peel potatoes. Got to mash potatoes. Mash, mash potatoes. Got to mash potatoes. Mash, mash potatoes. You've got to form the corn. Form, form the corn. You've got to form the corn. Form, form the corn. You've got to shuck the corn. It's just kind of like peeling if it's an ear of corn. Shuck, shuck the corn. You've got to pop the corn. Pop, pop the 
corn, you've got to pop the corn. Pop, pop the corn. You've got to form the spinach. Oh my gosh. Form, form the spinach. This is the last one. The spinach. Form, form the spinach. Got to eat. You don't peel. <laughs> you wanted to, right? You've got to eat the spinach. Eat, eat the spinach. You've got to get strong like Popeye. Strong, strong like Popeye. Got to get strong like Popeye. Strong, strong like Popeye. Question. Who knows who Popeye is? Awesome. Anyone under 15 know who Popeye is? Praise. Praise. Awesome. That's, that's the end of the song right there. You guys did an awesome job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Very, very nice. We're going to have more fun tonight as we go on. We've got some fun stuff in store. Um, we've done some singing. Yep. We've done some games. Yep. But right now, it's time for more serious information yes. as we share the, the news. news. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the news. We have some information that we'd like to share with you. Behold here a picture on the screen of a real house of a Parkway member who has used a lot of pumpkins. Does anyone have a guess of how many pumpkins this person has used to decorate his house for Halloween? Mr. Daniel. A billion is a very close number, but it's a little bit less than that. Aubrey. Five thousand. You are ambitious. <laughs> it's not 5,000. It's more like 244. Which is still a lot. It's a lot. It's like at least 122 times 2. Yep. It's true. Mark Vanderhyde would love to show you his awesome Halloween decorations. Many of you might go Christmas light looking at Christmas. Yep. Have you gone Halloween pumpkin looking at Halloween? I haven't. Well, now you can. But I can now because he has uh, an awesome house. And see if you can find it in the neighborhood near... The Dairy Queen. The Dairy Queen by Bailey Bridge. I yeah, forget some that people know where the Dairy Queen is because they love the Dairy Queen. The Dairy Queen calls. You mentioned Dairy Queen, and they go, huh! They're all in the mood for ice cream now. Yeah. And so we encourage you to check it out. Mark so Vanderheim. that one next to the Dairy Queen. He has an awesome Halloween lit up pumpkin display. Yep. Awesome. What else do we have on the news, Mr. Sam? Sure. Um, for our fall festival, which is happening on October 30th from 2 to 4 p.m., we have uh, trunk or treat trunks, but we only have five out of 25. So we need 20 more. We need 20 more? Yes. So if you would be willing to provide a trunk mm. to treat ah. the children, yes, um, you can tell Miss Lauren Garber, and she will uh, contact you with Travis, or if you're online, you can write it into the comments, and mm. she will contact you with Travis either way. Perfect. Yep. We hope that you can join us for that, 2 to 4 p.m. on Saturday, October 30th. We also are going to be having a first Wednesday coming up, which is a harvest banquet. Yep. It's just like a first Wednesday where we go outside, but rather than you buy the food at a food truck, Parkway will provide the food for you. And we'll give thanks to God together for mm -hmm. all the awesome things that he's done. Yes. The first Wednesday of November, mm -hmm. November 3rd. Yep. It's going to be fantastic. It will be. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Sam, this just in. We do have some breaking, breaking news. news. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, we regret to inform you that some things have broken. And we wanted to share breaking news with you today. Yes. Pumpkins have broken. All over the tri-state area. Everywhere. They're just, they're broken. There's a lot of broken pumpkins. A foot was broken. That's right. A foot was broken. It was, um, it was a son with a table. a table at Nerf night. Yep. And it broke a foot. A finger was broken. I think there was sand involved it was and a backflip. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Shame. An appendix was broken. We do hear it's on the recovery. Yes. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, a donut box was broken this afternoon. Yes. Someone was very uh, keen on getting it shut. They just couldn't, couldn't seem to shut it. It was broken into, and then the box was destroyed. Out of aggravation. Out of aggravation. And it caused a lot of pain and a lot of panic. So... That has been breaking news. Those are the things that we have been alerted of that have broken around and through Parkway. But it's going to be okay. Yes. 
but we did also have a specialized interview, mm -hmm. a very important guest uh, that actually our very own Larry Jerry got to interview. So we do have a very mm -hmm. short 60-minute interview for the 2020 show tomorrow on today for two minutes, however long it takes, um, from Larry Jerry interviewing our very own Lauren Garber. Take a look. Well, hi, everybody. My name's Larry Jerry Asher, and I'm here with Miss Lauren Garber. Hi, how are you today? I'm great. Wow, that's great. All right, let's jump into the questions. How does it feel to be a pastor at Parkway? I'm not a pastor. Oh, I thought everyone was a pastor here. Oh, oh here. What's, uh, I know, I know you like to communicate. You're in the communications area. So what's your favorite way to communicate? I guess I like to write. Writing is... Wow! Mine signal flares! Alright, next question. So, uh, what's the best font to use at a funeral? I would say any of the classic fonts. Wow, mine's in Times New Roman. Bold! Uh, well, what's your favorite word to spell? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Wow, that's a long one! All right, Pastor Lauren, we're about to jump into the speed round. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm still not a pastor. Okay, great. What's the worst time to eat cheese? There is never a bad time. Wow, that's great. Do you ever frolic through flowers? No. Why? Have you ever misplaced your left shoe? I'm not wearing a left shoe right now. Well, I'll only do that on Wednesdays. What kind of pictures make you scared? Scary ones? Wow, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for coming in. We'll see you next time. That Larry Jerry asked some weird questions. He does. Uh, I, well, I guess we need to inform him that not everyone who works at Parkway is a pastor. That's true. It's not every person. Unless you want me to start calling you Pastor Sam. No, that's okay. No. <laughs> no. That's all right. I you, couldn't resist. You, you'd have to call me Pam. Pam. Pastor um, Sam. Yeah. Um, so we'll try to get Jam. him informed on that. Um, the new member I, of Jam. So he doesn't um, say that on his next interview. Um, but it's always great to hear from him. And uh, we actually have another video uh, from our sponsors. And uh, they put this together just for us, just for this uh, Jam special. So uh, why don't you take a look? Is it just a trick or treat? Is it just a trick or treat? Satan is full of deceit. Satan is full of deceit. Making things look all right. Making things look all right. Saying to take a bite. Saying to take a bite. Temptation, Temptation is illusion. It's delusion. Will not stay. Don't fall for the trick. Don't listen to the lie. The world don't satisfy. God gives you all you need. So don't give in to the dream. Temptation is illusion. It's delusion. Will not stick. Greater is he that's in me than the enemy. Don't panic. From the just hold your ground, standing firm in God, resist the devil now. Oh, the Lord is all around, He is giving you an open doorway out. Don't fall for the trick. 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 Temptation is illusion. It's delusion. Will not stick. Greater is he that's in me than the enemy. Don't panic. Don't fall for the trick. All right. So, 
I know we were doing, uh, wearing some silly outfits for that song and whatnot, but that song actually had a message. Who remembers some of the things that you heard in that song? Yeah. Yeah, you. Did you put your hand up? You just got an itchy head. I understand. Yes. What do you think that means? No, we don't want to do that, right? The trick would be if we listen to the enemy rather than listen to God, right? We want to listen to God instead, right? Yeah. Yeah, it did talk about temptation. Yeah, absolutely. What is temptation? That's a big word. It's a big word. What is temptation? Yeah. It's like, so you're hearing something that's telling you to do something that you know you shouldn't do? Yeah, I think that's a really good example. Temptation is oftentimes something that's leading us to want to do something that would be opposite of what God would say. And then if we do it, then that leads us to sin, right? Sin is another big word. What is sin? Yeah. When you do something bad, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Disobeying God, yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm going to ask you a real question. Have any of you ever sinned? Everyone has, right? We talked about this last night in our Wednesday night discipleship, and we're going to say it again here tonight. Did you know the Bible says that everybody has sinned? Everybody has sinned. It says all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. All right? So everybody has sinned. But that's okay, because that means that you and I are in the same boat. We need somebody to help save us from our sin, right? Do you think that you're able to do that yourself? No? All right, Mr. Sam, I want you to help me out with something, all right? So listen, like I, I've told a lie before. I've messed up. I've done a lot of things. And so I need you to try and just help fix my life real quick, okay? Can okay. you just put this together in a nice, neat stack? He's got gloves on. Can you guys see his gloves? All right. It's working a little bit. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. I need all the papers to stay really neat and clean. Um, have you ever told a lie? Uh-oh. You have? Okay. Have you ever maybe taken something from someone without asking? So you've stolen. You're a, you're a thief. Sam. Okay. All right. All right. Now I need you to go ahead and help clean up everything, okay? No, but I need you to keep it clean, though. No, you're, no, you're not. You need to, like, do you see this? You're messing it up. What are you doing? No, S S Sam, you're going to mess up the table, too. Sam. Is Sam doing a good job? So what, what's, why is it not? Why is he having a hard time keeping everything neat and clean? There's stuff on his hands, right? Yeah. Did it get on everything that he touched? Yeah. What do you think, Aubrey? It's just getting everywhere, right? Now, listen, Sam, have you sinned? I asked you about two sins. Have, yep. you, sinned, have you sinned more than twice in your life? Yes. You have? Yes. Oh, goodness. How many, how many of you in here have sinned once? At least once. How many of you have sinned at least twice? How many of you have sinned at least three times? I probably sinned like 14,000 times like today, right? <laughs> right? Maybe not that much. We all sin. We all sin. But you know what God says? Even just one sin, even just one sin stains us from being perfect. And God says that in order for you to get into heaven, you have to be completely perfect. So if we've sinned, are we perfect? No, we're not perfect. Because even though Sam only, even on, on his hands, I only gave him two, two little dots of paint for two sins. That's it. And we've all just said we've sinned more than two times. Even though he was trying to do a bunch of good things and help put stuff back together, everything he touched was tainted by sin. Even his good work was tainted by sin. So do you think Sam can do enough good things to get rid of the paint? 
No, it's, it's always going to be there, right? And all it's going to do, like Aubrey said, is it's just going to spread out onto everything that he touches. He's never going to be able to get rid of it on his own, mm-hmm. right? So who came to help get rid of the sin? Jesus, right? Now, what do you think Jesus does for us? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Isabella, awesome. She, she just told us that he died on the cross and then rose again from the grave to save us from our sins. So, do you know what the Bible even says about that? This is super cool. You know, Jesus doesn't just come and clean up everything and then, like, you know, we still have to try and work to clean up our own mess and put it back together. Do you know what he does? You want to help me out, Sam? He says that if anyone is in Christ, he is a brand new creation. He says the old is gone, and behold, the new has come. He gives you a brand new life in Christ that's already showing his perfection to God. So that when God looks upon you, he doesn't see the mess. He doesn't see what our sin deserves which the Bible tells us, unfortunately, that the punishment for our sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So if we trust in Jesus as Lord and Savior, God sees a perfect life, not ours, but Jesus's in us. Isn't that awesome? Jesus does that for you. So he comes in and he brings you salvation and he saves you when you put your hope faith, and trust in Jesus and only Jesus, because nothing that we do will ever be good enough to overcome the sin that we have in our lives. We can't do enough good works to take it out. We just can't. We could try, right? But if we try, all we're going to do is stain everything because we've been tainted by sin. So we need Jesus to come and to make us new and to come and to have it already laid out for you. Aren't you grateful that we serve a God who did that for us? He's such an awesome God. And what I want you to know is that if you ever have a question about what it means to follow Jesus, I would love to talk with you. Your parents would love to talk with you. We would love to share more about what it means to put your trust in Jesus and to help you understand that he's the only way to be saved. And so not only does he give you a brand new life, He also helps you walk in a way that honors Jesus, that walks in a way that honors God. And so there'll be times that come where there's temptation, Mm -hmm. and there'll be times that come that we that we mess up. Yep. But God says there is no condemnation for those in Jesus because when He looks at us, He sees an already put together life because He sees Jesus in us, not not the mess that we have. So that's what's awesome about God. And we want you to know that Jesus really is there saving you and helping you live in a way that honors God. Isn't that cool? So we're going to pray here in just a minute, and then we're going to do something fun that I know you guys might be ready for, and we are going to play a little bit of a game and give everybody in this room an opportunity to do a trick shot, all right? Now, sin is often, we often say that it's, God is, he demands perfection. So in order for us to be perfect, we have to hit the mark. But sin makes us miss the mark. So I'm going to let you know that to demonstrate this trick shot, a lot of us are going to miss the mark tonight, right? Because we're all sinners. We've all messed up. But we're going to give you a a shot to try and win. And if you you get one, you'll receive a $10 Chick-fil-A gift card. Good for at least one combo or like 12 cookies, something like that, you know? (laughs) So your choice. All right. But... I don't know how late they're open nowadays, so you might have to wait until a, a better time that mom and dad say is appropriate to get Chick-fil-A. It yep. might not be tonight, but you'll have the gift card to go when you want. All right, so let's pray together, and then we'll, we'll talk about the trick shot, all right? So go ahead and put your hands together, bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's pray and give thanks to God. Lord, thank you for this day. God, thank you for Jesus who came and lived a perfect life. God, a life that we were not able to live because we are all sinners. But God, he lived a perfect life, died on the cross, a death that he did not deserve, and yet he showed victory over death. He beat death by rising again from the grave. 
and saying that anyone who would put their faith, hope, and trust in Jesus and only Jesus would have eternal life forever and ever. So God, we thank you, we praise you, and we love you and pray that as we continue to learn more and more about you, that you would help us to know what it means to follow you. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Also, Mr. Sam, if you would help me move this table back over there too. It doesn't have to be all the way off. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to give you guys some inspiration because um, in order to test out some different trick shots, we asked a couple of our Parkway staff members to try out some trick shots. And uh, this is going to give you guys some inspiration to get you ready to see if you'll be able to make the trick shot. Check this out. That last one was hard to see. Yeah. But Sam actually made the shot into, into the mouth of the chicken. Of the chicken. And if you noticed how many darts were, ar- so this was before the Nerf night, so we were testing out the darts. We, we wanted to make sure that they could fly. You know? Yeah. And uh, there were at least 400 darts <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> on the yeah. ground. <laughs> we, that one was the time. hardest one. So we chose not to do that one tonight. But yeah. we do have an opportunity to, to throw some ping pong balls into. So Lauren Garber came in, and she's like, hey, look, I made some pumpkins. Didn't she do an awesome job carving these pumpkins? These look awesome. Yeah. So the tops have been cut out, and this ping pong ball can easily fit into it. But it's tricky to do it all it's the tricky. way from the floor. All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our young friends first, people who are in um, second grade and lower. All right, second grade, first grade, kindergarten, or preschool who would like to can come up to this little mark right here, and we'll give you a couple of ping pong balls, and you're going to want to aim it towards the jam pumpkin, all right? If you want to, we'll give each kid two chances to throw a ping pong ball, all right? And so what you're going to do is you're going to come up. Do you see this little mark on the floor right there? You're going to stand here, and believe it or not, Sam, just lift up the pumpkin forward a little bit. Do you see that hole in there? Do you You think that you can do your best? Now, listen. This is very hard, so we're also going to give moms and dads a chance a little bit later, but we're going to give kids a chance first, all right? So what we're going to do is um, we're going to play a little bit of music here if it's still I can see some of the audience already formulating plans on how to do it. They're thinking about some stuff. All right, so I think we're still connected, Mr. Matthew. I'm going to go ahead and play some music. Just light music in the background. You're the best. Give it up for Matthew, Asher, and Riley, our awesome tech team. All right, each kid's going to get two chances to throw a ping pong ball into the jam pumpkin. All right, right. here we go. One One and two. Nice. Give it up for Isabella. All All right, right, here we go. Sam is going to be our ping pong ball catcher. Give it up for Mr. Sam. I was throwing him back in. Sorry. All right, Silas is going to get two shots. Here we go. Ready? Give it up for Silas. Ooh, that one right on the table. You were close. Oh my goodness, yes, all right. Here we go. Finley's gonna do it. One, two, yes. All right, Mr. Daniel, here we go. Oh, he's aiming, firing, he's close. Aiming, firing, Miss Hazel. All right. Yes, Hazel, you got it. Mr. Nash, here you go, bud. All right, if you got it. Kai, here you go, bud. If you've already gone, we'll go ahead and step back towards your seat. So that way we give everyone a chance, all right? We'll give everyone a chance. You ready, bud? All right, Warren. One, two. We have, we have live in the flesh, Spider-Man. Give it up for Spider-Man. I love the costumes you guys have had. Super awesome. Awesome. All right, we've got Bryn here. Bryn's going to 
give it two shots. You got it, Bryn. Awesome. Let's cheer on our friends. You're here. All right, Charlie. Here we go. Awesome. Give it up for Lana. Yes. Oh, she hit the pumpkin. Oh, so close. All right, Ava. You got it, girl. Boom. Oh, nice. Oh, that was close. You ready? Oh, you got some dinosaur paws. You got this. Boom. You're good. Ready? We'll just do one more throw. You can do that one. And you got to throw it. Boom. Awesome. Give it up. I got you. All right, here you go. All right. Third grade and uh, through middle school, if you're here. Third grade through middle school, you guys can go ahead and come on up. All right, you got it. One more chance. One more chance. Awesome. You guys together? Yep. All right. And then here you go. And then here, Cora. I'll give you two as well. All right. One more, Coda. Awesome. And then you, one more, Cora. That almost like bounced off the chair. That was a good little backboard idea. All right. And then Harper. All right. Oh, right. At, I think the pumpkin's the goal, not Sam. That was pretty good, though. All right. Here we go. Same spot. You guys got it. Same spot. You could do this. Oh, that was so close. Awesome. All right. Go for it. When you get up to the spot, you can go ahead and start throwing. All right. Oh, we have another Spider-Man. You got it. He is angry. He's mad. He isn't glad he's sad. Cause he's crabby. He's not happy at all. All right. Spider Man's gonna go. Are you ready yet? Okay, Spider Man's gonna go. I don't even know who these Spider Man Spider Men are. Spider People. Oh, it's Brendan. All right. Oh, you're so close. You guys, you guys got this. You guys got this. It's very hard. Oh, right idea. I love it. You got it. But here, I'll give you one at a time. How about that? And I'll give you your next one. Ooh, you were close. You were close. You got this. You're so close. Oh, it's okay. All right, Levi. All right. These songs, by the way, are actually songs that we created from improv suggestions. So they actually were songs that we made up on the spot. We figured we'd turn them into songs on, on uh, streaming devices. Oh, that was so close. Esther was so close. All right. I think one of these guys are going to get it. I think we can do it. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Cheer on your friends. Cheer them on. You got this. You got this. You go, you go. Yes, cheer him on, cheer him on. Here you go. Here, I'll get. You got one. Awesome, thanks for your help. One more. All right, any other kid, high school, or any grown ups want to give it a chance? I think some grown ups might have an opportunity. Call your parents on up, let them try it. Donnie, Donnie. <laughs> Mindy, you got this. Yes, you got some. All right, two chances. All right, here we go. At the little X, like the black, yeah, there you go. I was gonna have the adults go further back, but it's really hard. <laughs> All right, right up here, two chances. Awesome. Oh, you're good. Don't worry about it. Get that $10 Chick-fil-A card. You're so close. All right, food is a motivator, I'm just saying. Do you think you could do it? You could do it. Donnie, Don, oh! All right. <laughs> One more just for Mr. Sam. That's okay, it's his dad. That was, oh! Oh! Ah, so close. All right. 
Yes. You, oh, so you're good. All right, Christy, show them up. Show them what you got. Oh, that was close. Oh, so close. All right, Wes. We, yeah, we'll find Nerf bullets and ping pong balls for day. Oh, it's so close. Yes, all right. Here we go, Mr. Diacito. Oh, oh, here we go, Nathan. You got this. Oh, so close. Miss Kate, you can come over here. Yeah, we're giving everyone this, but uh, you know, you can show yourself a little bit of love. <laughs> there you go. Oh, all right. Our, the one, the only, Brittany Braun. Get that $10, you got it. Next time. Right? Yeah. No, there's, Pastor Joe did get it in earlier today. So it's been tested and approved. Oh, right on the face. Casey, you're good. Ping pong balls for days. <laughs> you're good. Mr. Jason. All right. You got it. Go, Jason. Are you going to sing the whole time I'm singing? Or like, got it? Okay. Every state's got a capital. And every state's got a bird and a flower and a tree. Yes. Yes. so much fun learning about geography. Especially with our country. Yes! Hey, give it up for Jason. That was awesome. So good. All right, Miss Lauren Garber. Oh, we're so close. Awesome. Oh. You got, that's a perfect opportunity, you know? Just, just whack Sam, you got it. Yes, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. You know what would be awesome is if you aim for Sam and then you get the pumpkin, you know? Oh! So close! All right, so listen. What we'll do here is uh, we didn't have a, uh, a successful one yet. We may um, just give everybody a chance here again, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna close out our online friends. And so what we're gonna do is let's just pray one more time and then um, we'll give kids a chance to, to try it again if they have an opportunity to. So let me pray first. And if you're joining us online, thank you so much for being here. Seriously, if you have any questions at all about how to follow Jesus or if you wanna know more or if you need a Bible, please connect with us. We would love to share more with you. Or if you're here in this room, we'll stick around for a little bit. would love to talk with you. So we just wanna thank you so much for being here. Um, and we all missed the mark tonight, right? We all missed it. But that's kind of the point. We are all in need of Jesus. But the cool thing is Jesus loves us so much that he came and gave himself as a sacrifice for you and for me. So when we trust, hope, and put our faith in Jesus and only Jesus, we can have salvation that lasts forever. So let's pray. Father, thank you for this day. God, we love you. We praise you. Pray that as we continue to go, we would worship you and that we would show you our love by serving you and living for you. God, we are not perfect, so we can't pretend to be perfect and we can't do enough good things to get rid of the stain of sin. But we thank you that Jesus came and makes us a brand new creation that's clean when you look upon us. And so God, I thank you for that. Help us to live in a way that honors you and shows the world that they need you too. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, our online friends. We appreciate it. We hope you have an awesome time. For those of you who are...